In SOLIDWORKS Electrical, you may want symbols to show more information than just the pins. Let's open up the symbol and see how we can add that extra information. To show what we want, I'm going to insert some attributes. I'm going to grab the component mark, the manufacturer, the manufacturer part, and the article number. That's an internal part number. I'm also going to grab the manufacturer part description. Before placing my attributes onto my symbol, I get to determine both justification and order in which they're placed. For this symbol, I want to put my description below my relay coil. Once I've placed all the attributes that I need on my symbol, I can go ahead and save and close it. The symbol on my schematic page doesn't show these changes that we made until I do an update symbol command. All our attributes came in looking good. The only problem is we have a pretty long description. Let's open our symbol and see how we can fix this. Using the multiple attribute command, we can make the description for the manufacturer part multiple lines. Again, we're going to need to save this symbol and update it on our schematic page. This time we don't see a change, and that's because our manufacturer part still has this long description. Once we open the manufacturer part, we need to add a return character. In SOLIDWORKS Electrical, the return character is the pipe symbol. Once I place all the return characters that I need, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to choose this time to update only this instance of this manufacturer part instead of updating the entire catalog. You should now see that our really long description is broken into multiple lines wherever we determined our return character should be.